Hi all. This time we'll look at some popular and common cell. Many people prefer to use the keyboard instead of the mouse. It's a matter of personal preference, of course. Let's see how some of the common ones work. Here I've listed uh, various uh, control uh, combinations and uh, followed by some function key combinations. Let's see how they work. The first one, if I hold down control B, I bold the text. If I hold down control I, I italicize the text. If I control U, I underline the text. Control C copies what is in the active cell and if I want to paste what is in that active cell I control V. If I want to undo that action then I can control Z. Put things back where they were. If you see this type of thing, the scrolling marquee, the way to stop that is to press the escape key. Put you back where you were. Control Y will redo the undo. In other words, it puts things back where they were. So escape to get rid. Control semicolon shows me today's date. That is a fixed date as opposed to the equal today function uh, which will change with the computer's clock. But control semicolon gives me a fixed date. Control shift semicolon shows me the current time from the computer's clock. Control enter lets me enter data into a cell and control enter accepts that data but stays in the same cell. Control P opens the print dialog box. Control Home takes me to cell number one, cell A1. Control End takes me to the very last cell that I have used in the bottom right hand corner of the spreadsheet. F1 and try the function keys on your own keyboard to see how they work will bring up the help screen. F2 will put a cell into edit mode. I'm using an Apple keyboard at the moment so if I double click in that cell uh, that is what F2 will do on a uh, Windows PC. F3 pastes a define name into a formula if you're uh, familiar with the naming of cells. F4 will repeat the last command or action. F5 displays the go to dialog box. F7 displays spell check. F9 refreshes or recalculates a worksheet and F11, a very very handy function key on a Windows keyboard, uh, will give you a chart on its own worksheet based on the selected data. The chart will be a default chart and um, it, uh, uh, as opposed to an embedded chart which I would uh, see if I use the insert command to insert a chart. So remember F11, you'll see how it works. Thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to try the function keys on your own keyboard to see how they work. Uh, it's really quite simple and um, many people, as I mentioned earlier, prefer to use the keyboard um, in just these popular um, keys here, control B, etc. as opposed to using the mouse. So again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe where there will be lots more information, hints, tips and tricks and procedures uh, made available and if you subscribe you will receive a notification automatically. Hi all, this time we'll be looking at the concatenate function. The concatenate function lets me join the text contents of cells together into one cell. So let's see how it works. Here in this particular sheet I have uh, text in A7, A8 and A9 down here. 
and I want to join the contents of that uh, text into one cell, this one here in A11. So what I did in A11, I typed the formula equal concatenate A7 followed by a space between two double quotes. The reason for putting uh, the space between the quotes is that Excel regards a space as uh, text. Uh, my next argument is A8, notice the commas that separate the argument of course, and finally A9 and close your, um, close, close your bracket. So when I look up here in the formula bar, I can see that there is the formula. Um, no problem, works just fine. Now I'll also show you how to use this cell to get the same formula, but I'm going to create this formula with the function arguments dialog box. And you'll notice how spaces are added again by using the double quotes around the space. So this time I'm going to click in this cell and I'll use the function arguments dialog box and the category for concatenate, it's a text function. So here it is, concatenate, join several text strings into one text string. And when I click OK, I'll see that I can click uh, for text 1 in A7. Uh, text 2 will be the space. So double quote, space, double quote. Text 3 will be the word William, followed by another space, double quote, space, double quote. And the fifth text will be brown. So there is an example of the result of that formula when I produce it in that manner. So when I click OK, there we go, same result, except I, I, instead of typing the uh, formula in the cell, I use the function arguments dialog box. Here's a second example. Uh, penguins are native to Antarctica, so we were able to just use D7 and D9. The space, of course, separated the uh, penguins are native to from Antarctica. So we just use two of those um, three cells there. I can assure you, folks, there ain't no penguins in Africa. So thanks for watching. Uh, you may well find the concatenation function handy to uh, use. Um, remember to, to subscribe to the channel where there will be lots more hints, tips and procedures made available to you. Thank you so much for watching.